Well, hello there, and welcome to Yorkton. Not the place, of course, the musical. You're in town, the place is, well, it's a place you'll hear people referring to a lot throughout the show. You hear the news? They carted old so-and-so off to urine town the other day. Is that so? What'd he do? Eh, such and such, I hear. Well, what do you know? Old so-and-so. It's sort of a mythical place, you understand? A bad place. A place you won't see until Act Two, and then, well, let's just say it's filled with symbolism and, uh, things like that. But you're in town, the musical, well, here we are. Welcome. It takes place in a town like any town that you might find in a musical. This here is the first setting for the show. As the sign says, it's a public amenity, meaning public toilet. These people have been waiting for hours to get in. It's the only amenity they can afford to get into. Say, Officer Lockstock, is this the part where you tell the audience about the water shortage? What's that, little Sally? You know, the water shortage. The rough times, the drought, a shortage so awful where private toilets eventually became unthinkable, a premise so absurd Whoa, 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 whoa there, little Sally. Not all at once. They'll hear more about the water shortage in the next scene. Oh, I guess you don't want to overload them with too much exposition, huh? Everything in its time, little Sally. You're much too young to understand this now, but nothing can kill a show like too much exposition. Well, how about bad subject matter? Well... Or a bad title, even. That could kill a show pretty good. Well, little Sally, suffice it to say that in your in town, the musical, everyone has to use public bathrooms to take care of their private business. That's the central conceit of the show. Better hope your pennies add up to the fee. We can't have you peeing for free. If you do, we'll catch you. We, we never fail. And we never bother with jail. You won't need bail. Later on, you'll learn that these public bathrooms are controlled by a private company. They keep emission high, generally. So if you're down and you're lucky, you have to come to a place like this. One of the poorest, filthiest urinals in town. And you can't just go in the bushes either. There's laws against it. That's right, little Sally. Harsh laws, too. That's why little Sally here is counting her pennies. Isn't that so, little Sally? I'm very close, Ossifer. Just a few pennies away. Aren't we all, little Sally? Aren't we all? Oh, excuse me, sir. Can you tell me the way to the private company that controls these public bathrooms? You mean you're in good company? That's the one. You'll meet the man who runs your in good company later. That there is his daughter. It's quite a ways from here, ma'am. This here's the bad part of town. So it is. But if you squint, you can just make out the headquarters rising above the skyline. The gleaming tower on the hill? That's the one. Gosh, it's beautiful. You most certainly are. Pardon? It most certainly is. Oh dear, I'm late already. Thanks ever so much for the directions and such. Goodbye. Anytime. Well, we've talked on long enough, I imagine. Enjoy the show, and welcome to Urintown, the musical. This is your 